with as many as of that opinion say aye. With as many as of that opinion say no. The eyes have it. The motion that was seeking the concurrence of the National Assembly to the resolution of the Senate on the appointment of five MPs to the Pan-African Parliament was withdrawn after MPs faulted the appointment of senators to the regional parliament. Despite attempts by Majority Leader Eden Duale to have a good working relationship between the bicameral parliament and have five MPs, Zakayo Cheriot, Rachel Shebesh, Mili Othiambo and Senators Kip Chumbamurkomen and Janet Ongera endorsed as representatives to the regional parliament Suba MP John Buddy said that the regional parliament represents a country's interest and membership should be restricted to representatives of the national government. I think the Senate is overrepresented. The National Assembly membership is 349. Senate is only 67. Yes. Giving them two out of five I think it's too much. We need to give them just one at most. Members of parliament faulted the appointment of senators to the Pan-African parliament, questioning what interest a senator who represents a county would advance at a regional assembly. The matter before us has turned ethnic and regional. And even me, I come from a region called Northeastern. And I don't have somebody here. So I think even now we will go back to the drawing board, we will build consensus. Mr. Speaker, let us embrace each other. Let us begin to work together. And therefore, let us approve the five names. Meanwhile, debate on a report by the Senate Finance Committee on County Government Cash Disbursement Schedule for year 2013-2014 commenced today after Nyeri Senator Mutahi Kagwe moved the motion. Mutahi says an integrated finance management system must be put in place to advance accountability on how funds allocated to counties are utilized. We need to ensure, Madam Speaker, that prioritizing counties are prioritizing the expenditures in the manner that they are supposed to. The motion seeks to compel county governments to submit quarterly reports to the Senate for the House to scrutinize the county government's expenditures. The Senate, which has been holding its sittings at the KICC, is expected to move to its permanent chamber in Parliament buildings on 15th of October when refurbishment of the chamber will be complete. Marion Canari, Channel 1, News Hour.